I'm gonna run a bunch of speed tests on the Netgear Orbi 870 wireless and wireless backhaul configuration. So I'm gonna kick off the test. Let's let's pick a different server. Let's pick this one's pretty good. Um, the upload on this one's not that great, but the download's actually typically really good on this one. So I'm running a speed test. Again, you guys could see it's only connected to power and it's wirelessly talking to the other Orbi 870, which is hooked up to my own T, which is kind of like a modem. And basically it's about 25 feet away or so, about seven to eight meters with a couple of walls in between. And my Mac mini is on Wi-Fi. This is a Wi-Fi 6E Mac mini, it's not a Wi-Fi 7. And this is the previous gen, so. Um, but the point of the video Let's just talk about that. The point of the video is this. This guy's on Wi-Fi talking to that one, and this one is wirelessly talking to the other one. But I want to demonstrate that Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems are awesome. So what I'm going to do is I have an Ethernet cable that's hooked up to my Mac Mini, and I'm going to connect it to this RB870. Okay. So now I will turn off Wi-Fi. And, okay, so Wi-Fi is off. We're gonna give it a second. I'll close speed test. And I'll reopen it. And we're gonna kick off another speed test. Okay, so basically, the point of this video is the fact that Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems are very fast on wireless backhaul. So some of the questions I get asked are, is it worth getting a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system if I don't have any Wi-Fi 7 devices or if I have one or two, is it really worth it? Well, as always, it depends on your specific situation, but Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems, you don't need Wi-Fi 7 devices to get at, to gain advantage of it. Literally, even though this is a wireless backhaul, which means it's just wirelessly talking to the other one, if I Ethernet to it, it's very fast. We got 2.357 down and 1.85 up. So very, very fast speeds. I mean, this also depends on your internet speed. So my internet speeds are actually five gigs up and down, but the ports on it are 2.5. So I'd be capped to 2.5 gigabits anyways. But if we run a local speed test, which I've already ran a couple times, uh, but we'll rerun it. So I have another uh, Mac Studio. Let me not block this. I have another Mac Studio in the other room and it's hooked up as, it's basically acting as a server. So this Mac Mini through Ethernet is going to that Orbi 870, and that 870 is going to the other one, um, and then the other Orbi 870, which is a dedicated router, is actually connected to my other Mac Studio. Now both of the Macs have 10 gig ports, and you guys could see, we're pretty much capping out at 2.5 and 2.5, almost. I mean, there's some overhead there, but I mean, this is as close to 2.5 as we're going to get. And this is why I actually like the local speed test servers because they're much more consistent in their results, unlike an internet speed test server, which is great, um, but they can be busy at times and then sometimes their uploads aren't as fast. And um, whereas if I run a local speed test, it's, it's pretty consistent um, with the results. So I'm rerunning it again so you guys can see. But the point of this video is you don't need Wi-Fi 7 devices to gain advantage of a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. I mean, these things will like drastically improve your Wi-Fi coverage throughout your home. I mean, depending on what you have, obviously if you're going from Wi-Fi 7 to another Wi-Fi 7, there's not gonna be that big of a difference. Um, but if you have an older router, if it's in a single place and you're getting a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system, it's, it's, there will be a noticeable difference. And this is the beauty, especially if you can ethernet to it um, even if it's in wireless backhaul, if you can ethernet to it, and that's the whole point of this video, that um, you don't need the Wi-Fi 7 devices. Now, if you have Wi-Fi 7 devices, that's even better, um, but not really necessary. And, and there's nothing you need to change on your phone. You don't need to go like, oh, if I have you know, a Wi-Fi 6 phone, I'm connecting to a Wi-Fi 7 router, do I need to change anything? No, you don't need to do anything. All of this stuff is automatic. Now, if you guys are interested, the full review is coming up for this. So I'm wrapping up the testing and everything and I'm gonna make that full video where I actually go over the, you know, the wired wireless backhaul speeds, range test, all that stuff with the Wi-Fi devices. And I'll show you guys what the Netgear app looks like as well. The Orbi app, I should say. And um, yeah, so make sure you guys subscribe. I was gonna say smash that subscribe and then I said subscribe. Uh, but yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys haven't already, there's a lot more router videos coming up. 
uh, a lot more router videos. And there's going to be some router comparisons coming up as well. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and uh, share it. You know, uh, and let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.